Hey guys, Emoto Boy here. Today we're going to be doing a uh, upgrade on the seat of the RSF. The stock one's pretty small and un uncomfortable, so I bought this cafe racer seat off of Amazon. It's pretty big and should be more comfortable than this. Yeah, so first we're going to take off the stock seat and the plastic underneath, and then we're going to try to use these jackets that came with it to mount it. If not, we'll probably find some other way. So I'm done taking the seat off. Now I modified the um, plastic here so I can make room for the brackets that are gonna come on the new seat. So basically I just cut this part with a saw and yeah, now there's more room so I can put the new brackets. Okay, yeah, so this is uh, the seat. So what I did is, um, first of all, I um, modified this front part and made more room in between. They, there used to be like more metal here and I just cut it away with a saw. So then um, the seat can basically fit between the suspension right here. Then uh, I took the plastic, I mean the rubber thing, there was one of these right here and I uh, cut it in half and put them right next to the uh, bolts in the back. This is because um, the bolts if I didn't do that, they would be rubbing against the frame and I don't want that to happen. And then I put the these brackets on the back, I put them backwards and yeah, and now it, um, it goes on really easily. So basically you just take this and you put it right here, try to show. Basically put it, ah, dang, this is hard to do with one hand. Oh, there, I think, yeah. Yeah, right there. And now, now these brackets, you just push them down. And yeah, the seat's on. Basically, all you have to do is take a zip tie and put it from here to here, so then the seat won't come off. But basically, it's pretty secure right now, which is surprising because the seat wasn't even made for an RSF, and it just fits like it, it was actually made for it. So yeah, that's nice. Okay guys, so it's completely done. Yeah, the seat came out, came out really nicely, and if you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll be doing more videos like this. Soon I'll get an MX650 front fork, and I'll be painting it black and putting it on the RSF, and I'll make a video showing you how to do that too. Then, I will be comparing the 72-volt RSF to the Sura, since they're similar in top, in top speed and in power. Yeah, so, thanks for watching.